Master Scooby Doo, we're coming after you. You're gonna solve that mystery. I see you, Scooby Doo. The trail leads back to you. What's the Scooby Doo? Morning, Carmel Greyhounds, and happy Friday. I'm Elsa Bray. And I'm Denise English, here with your CHTV. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We would like to wish everyone a happy birthday. And to those celebrating this beautiful weekend, happy birthday, guys. Today is National Earth Day. This day is to celebrate the Earth and also to demonstrate support for environmental protection. More than a billion people celebrate Earth Day to help protect the planet from things like pollution, deforestation, and climate change. And on this note, let's watch a PSA on how you can do your part and not be a fart, made by CHTV's Ava Luo. Then we'll send it over to Morgan for your weather update. Thanks guys. Hi, I'm Morgan Mace here with today's CHTV weather update. Today you can expect a high of 73 and looking ahead to tomorrow we have a high of 82 and then on Sunday we have a high of 75. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks guys. Thanks Morgan. One thing we recognize this month is Ramadan. This is a Muslim holy celebration that includes fasting, prayers, and self-reflection. As Ramadan comes to an end, I caught up with Sarasad and Zainab Khan to get their experience with fasting this month. I've been doing it my whole life, but sometimes, like at school, my stomach grumbles and it's embarrassing, but that's like it. Ramadan is, for us, at, uh, for Muslims, it's more than just fasting, but uh, it's more of like a month of um, sort of like discipline and um, fasting's like a way you show that discipline. Thank you both for sharing. Another thing to recognize is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. And throughout these last weeks, Carmel will be working to emphasize resources and solidarity. Sexual Assault Awareness Month traces back to the 1970s when activists began working towards shedding a light on the prevalent problem of sexual assault and moving away from it being viewed as a taboo topic. Throughout this month, we encourage you to educate yourself through learning what you can do to prevent sexual assault, support survivors, and become familiar with resources and volunteer or donate to local and nationwide organizations. This month, as well as every month, is important to start the conversation around the issue, raise money, and destigmatize survivors. Keep an eye out for Denim Day on April 27th. Now, let's get an update from our entertainment team. Hallie and Kirby, what do you have for us today? Thank you, Elsa. Good morning, Greyhounds. I'm Hallie Reeves. And I'm Kirby Biggs, here with your entertainment update. In Carmel Band News, Jazz a la Mode is a two-night event featuring five jazz bands. This performance will be held in the freshman cafeteria and doors open at 6.30 p.m. and the jazz ensemble, ensemble begins at 7. Pie, coffee, and soft drinks will be served so you don't want to miss it. Switching gears, let's talk about senioritis because I know it's kicking my butt right now. What about you? <laughs> Same here. So let's take a look at Dylan's senioritis package. I'm Jack Sart. My name's Annie Salter. I'm Marco Leonardo. Uh, it's Mr. Jim Peterson, uh, Director of Theater and Film. And yes, I have senior eyes. And you're retiring this year, correct? Correct. 
Uh, how many days of school have I missed? Uh... Do you really want to know that answer? Yep. Um... Honestly, no idea. Um... <laughs> We're at 27, counting today after this one. <laughs> I, I, I refuse to answer that on the ground, but it's being me. Uh, I've missed like zero days. Um, I'd say at least 15 to 20 days of school, yeah. Three or four. I only have two right now. I know that. No, actually, that one's not. Is this trying Mrs. Wiseman? I was stuck. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. What's the furthest back you've been? Oh, maybe a month, maybe two. It depends. It's all the kids turning in late work. Um, I think I did an assignment like a few weeks ago. We usually don't have homework in our classes, but I did do assignments recently. My homework. Uh, I just finished an online course through Eduflow, uh, working with the ADDIE system, the ADDIE, it's for instructional design. So I just did that probably last month. Second grade. Freshman year. <laughs> Good. Probably Tuesday. Thank you, Dylan, for that entertaining package. Well, Greyhounds, today's Highlight staff members will distribute the last, the last ever, last one, printed issue of the Highlight. Starting in May, everything Highlight will be exclusively online via Highlight.org and Carmel'sAcumen.org, as well as through the Highlight social media outlets. The procedures will be the same as during previous distributions, and you can get extra copies in kiosks and outside of C-147. Let's take a look at the quick video from the highlight staffs themselves, and then we'll send it over to Mark with Sports. Good morning, Carmel Greyhounds. My name is Mark Bespicos, and welcome back to your CHCB Sports Announcements. Congratulations to all 20 of the amazing athletes who had their signings yesterday. One of the signees was CHTV's very own McKenna Barr, who committed to Florida Tech for rowing. Good luck, Greyhounds. In softball news, the girls fell short with a close loss to Pendleton Heights with a final score of 4-2. to Lady Hounds will play the Franklin Central Flashes today at home at 7.30 p.m. Let's hope the ladies can bounce back. And girls across news, the ladies lost a heartbreaker yesterday to Garen Catholic with a final score of 10 to 11. A tough loss for the Greyhounds, but I think the Greyhounds will rebound from this. So, good luck, Hounds. In boys lacrosse news, the boys had another blowout win over the Westfield Rocks with a final score of 18 to 6. The Greyhounds are still on fire, so let's hope they can keep that up. In Carmel baseball news, the boys' varsity baseball team lost a tough one to Westfield with a final score of 19 to 1. But the Greyhounds redeemed themselves when they went up against Lawrence North and won with a final score of 11 to 8. In the Lawrence North game, Max Winders picked up the win in relief. Trip Schroeder and Dan Cunningham each had two hits. As all the sports news I have for you today. Now, before I send it over to the host desk, let's take a short commercial break. This year, Comedy Sports is back in front of a live studio audience. Check out our next home match, Friday, April 22nd at 7 o'clock p.m. Tickets are available at carmeldrama.org. The Comedy Sports, Jim Peterson, will be retiring after 21 years. Mr. Peterson helped create the league back in 2001, but it's now ending the sponsorship. 
Thank you, and we appreciate you. Now for your daily announcements. Today is Earth Day. Help Green Action Club celebrate Earth Day tomorrow from 1 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in Midtown and pick up a free tree sampling. This is a great way to help our environment. More information on Instagram at chs.greenaction. The 2022 prom will be held on Saturday, May 7th at 502 East Event Center from 8 to 11 p.m. Juniors and seniors can purchase prom tickets online by going to the CHS website. Guest forums are located in student services and guest tickets are on sale at the bookstore. All attendees must check into prom with their CHS student ID and must show their GoFan ticket on their phone or paper. Seniors, if you have a difficult to pronounce name or would like to go by your middle name at graduation, please see Mrs. Hayes in the activities office. Tomorrow is a shredded elect slash electronic recycling event from 10 to 1 at Creekside Middle School. Attention current sophomores and juniors, applications are now open for the Computer Science Honor Society 2022 to 2023. All new and previous members need to apply. Find the QR code around the business department or go to tinyurl.com slash CSHS application to apply. Now time for your in-studio announcements. Good morning. Greyhounds, this is Jacob Ellie with some additional in-studio announcements. We got quite a few today, so just bear with me here. Just a reminder that the Spring Blood Drive is right around the corner on April 26. Come to your lunch tables to sign up with your senators. It is a great way to help those in need. Also, we just in, we have two $50 Amazon gift cards that we will be raffling off to any blood drive donors. Take the chance and sign up. Uh, this is a reminder that the, that the election packets for Senate and class officer have been posted on the CHS website. The packets are due at the mandatory call-out meeting next Thursday after school. Student body president and speaker of the House elections have officially opened. You can vote by going to the CHS website, and QR codes will be found posted around the school, or go to the CHS Senate link tree on Instagram to vote. Voting ends today at 3.30 p.m. CMYC is holding its annual dodgeball tournament tonight, April 22nd, in the Fieldhouse from 6 to 8 p.m. Sign up using the link in the CMYC Instagram page. Teams are composed of up to six people, and it costs $5 per person. Sign up today. That's all I got for today. Let's send it back to the host desk. Make sure to follow our Instagram at Carmel TV, our Twitter at CHTV. And this week's show will be up on our YouTube channel, CHTV Carmel Television, so go check them out. For CHTV, this has been Janice English and Elsa Bray. And we are now down to four more Fridays until summer break. Home stretch is right here. And it's coming faster than you think. We'll see you guys next week. Enjoy this great weekend.